Hey, happy Friday and happy new year from the new 97.7, the beat of Boston. I'm KJ. Uh, hopefully you are figured out that today is Friday because good gosh, these way, the way these days between Christmas and let's just call it the beginning of next week, it's absolutely ridiculous. I, I was just literally in the break room reheating some coffee and <clears throat> I was like, you know what, why don't we just make it official to just show back up to work on the 6th? People then know that the New Year's over for a couple of days. As long as the 6th doesn't fall like on a Friday or a Saturday, I think everybody could agree to that. That That's just, this has just been insane. I don't know if it's age. I don't know if, it, if it's just me. But it seemed like Christmas was what, on a Tuesday? Then it seemed like it was four Fridays in a row, a Saturday, a Sunday, and then like four more Fridays. I don't even know if that we're at today. So hopefully you had a great holiday with your family and friends and loved ones and uh, I had a great chance to go see family extended. Uh, for those who don't know my family, my daughter, my wife uh, are here in Boston with me. So we took our first like real car trip where I did all the driving. Uh, but actually, I, I wouldn't have my wife drive any of that. Um, one of it's called the George Washington Bridge. <laughs> but uh, thankfully, we made it back safely. And uh, thank you for all the kind words uh, for the picture you might have seen posted on Christmas Day with... Uh, my wife and my two daughters, uh, I hadn't had a chance to see my oldest daughter in a year because she's in graduate school, uh, where she just pulled off a 4-0 in her first semester. So I'm extremely proud of her. I, I think I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have three angels wrapped around me because someone's got to play the devil in the family, right? Totally kidding. Uh, what do you think's going to happen Saturday night, man? The Pats, Titans, uh, I remember the Titans game, if you remember last year, it was a November game in in Tennessee, and Mike Vabrell and his guys just made us just look absolutely horrible, and for those of you who think Roger Goodell and the NFL have all had like this kind of like predetermined WWF old school, uh, not the Panda Bears, but the wrestling, that all things come back into play, um, I'm really hoping for the snow. And uh, call me crazy, we win this game, I believe Buffalo beats Houston, I believe we beat the Chiefs in Kansas City, just look at the defeatist mind they have, it'll start around next Thursday, but what if we don't win? You won't win, it's the power of the mind. We may just see a replay of that great Bills-Patriots game from, yes, the same day me driving halfway down the Atlantic coast. Um... Play for the for to see who goes to the Super Bowl. I, I seriously believe we will be playing the Bills at Foxborough to see who will play uh, the game that starts right before Shakira and J Lo go on stage and then continues after J Lo and Shakira leave the stage. So um, eight ten Saturday night Foxborough Patriots Titans. I believe we're going to surprise a lot of people. We're just very humble about it. We've got to do it. Tom cannot go out this way. All right, uh, check out 977thebeat.com if you got one of those smart TVs during the rush for Black Friday. Uh, some of these companies are actually admitting that, hey, look, <laughs> we're watching you, and that's why the TV was so cheap. So I've always been that guy, like, I don't buy stereo components. All, you remember, remember how stereo components would all come in like one, like the record player that barely worked, and then, like, you click over, the CD player worked? I did that one time, and when the CD player didn't click over, the whole component didn't work. That's why I've always bought those things individual. Uh, okay, this is what I do, but that's why I bought them individual, and I don't do the smart TVs. Check out the story at 977thebeat.com at my page called Somebody's Watching Me, and they admit it out loud. Now, uh, you've heard me on the air mention that, hey, at some point, virtually every hour on the air between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m., Starting Monday, I'll give you $1,000 each hour. It's a way of saying, you know what? You need to replenish. You need to refill. You need to financially rehydrate. $1,000 each hour, and you know how I do it for you is once we deliver you the keyword, I'm going to tell you a few more times, so that way if you had to go do something real quick, your boss called your attention away, it's a great way to get some money back into your bank. Into your bank after spending it over the holidays. Because, you know, we all overspend. Though I'm starting to get into that age where I'm learning how to underspend and say, you know what, didn't you feel the joy behind that $10 gift? Didn't you feel it? No? 
So, it's still a gift. You got one. So, uh, again, starting Monday, 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., I've got cash for you every hour here on the new 97.7 The Beat of Boston. Uh, just a couple of things that are coming to my mind here for the holidays. Rule, new rule. You got to take, if you take down the holiday tree, you got to stop watching the Lifetime and Hallmark movies. My wife caught me in a technicality. She said, you know what? The tree was actually in North Carolina, and it's still up, so she's going to watch the movies. I had no argument to that. I mean, at the end of the day, I can't win every battle at home, let alone I can't win three of them. Um, also, uh, you might have heard me at, towards the end of last year talk about a lot of these Shutterfly gifts that I gave. They were the most popular gifts that I gave to family members. My mom was, like, in tears. I said, well, don't tell Google that, because I gave one of those Google devices to us, just like, you know, Whatever you do, don't cry in front of Google. It will record all that. I'm totally kidding. But uh, the Shutterfly gifts, they really were a hit, especially uh, for my parents and, and, and my stepmom as well. They just were like, whoa. So it's just amazing how pictures, not of yourself, or when I was a little kid, which was one of them on my father's uh, coffee mug, um, how they really kind of sell the years and the memories of love and, and just the in, in, entire feeling of appreciation of still being here because everybody's not still here and there's just great ways to celebrate with that um also um when i learned down south and i and i got into this argument for with a few people it's not supposed to be 75 degrees on christmas it's not they're like oh no you could go golf and everything i said that's really great but your bugs haven't died yet like at least i don't have to worry about like swiping flies and bees out of my face when I came back here. So, yeah, you know, shoveling the snow, that can get really tiring, especially if you're on one of those main roads and you work so hard to get that ice, wet, snow, crap combo just from the mouth of your driveway, just for the plow to come back and refreeze it over for you, and you got to do it at 2 in the morning. Yeah, that's frustrating, but I don't want to be stung by a bee in December. And that almost happened to me in North Carolina. So, I say this, be grateful in the small things that you can appreciate, you know, like putting on a coat and that coat not costing you an arm and a leg, you know, or, uh, or just seeing family and being able to say, you know what, it isn't 10 pounds of snow out here today. So have a great new year. 2020, I'm not going to do a whole lot of jokes involving vision and all that stuff. And it's clear now my vision and yeah, that's really great. It's not creative, <laughs> but uh, I do want to say thank you. Uh, I think I'm going into my fourth year here, and a lot of you have gotten to know, you know, my family's names. At our New Year's Eve celebration, one of our listeners, Trish, first thing she asks, how's your family doing? Can ask by my wife's name and my kids' names. It's helped me keep safe. <laughs> so, uh, ooh, I'm going to tell Regina on you. See, that, that, that's real talk. So, I just want to say thank you tremendously for... The relationship and friendship and kinship that we've been able to build here now over the last several years. For the well wishes and the uh, kudos that you've sent out to my family. And just sometimes when you ask, you know, how's your college age daughter doing? And how's that dating thing going for her? And I'm thinking, you know, Mercury's a little in retrograde, but she's doing well. Uh, but, you know, I, 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 I share my life because... Who doesn't have families? Who doesn't have a daughter or a father or at one time or still does? Or to be able to um, witness that um, I do kind of lose my mind having girls raising them 15 years apart. But they are the joy of my life. And, and my wife is just such, such a champion, my goodness. Like, I always tell her that, you know, we, we are probably a better wrestling tag team than, you know, the Road Warriors. Um, even though sometimes we can go at it like Road Warriors still... Uh, I just want to say um, thank you so much for sharing life with us and and for any chance I can get to help you win money or win tickets or prizes here or play a song that invokes a memory that says, you know what, I can smile for a quick second as I sit in 48,000 pounds of traffic trying to figure out nobody was at the office, but everybody's on the road. Why is that? I'll be that guy. And so thank you for your continued support for the new 97.7 The Beat of Boston um, I'm just incredibly humbled uh, by the outreach and some of even the closest relationships I've developed in my life have happened to be here in Boston. So get this money starting Monday. 
I'll have it 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., but Romeo will also have it. You have 16 chances a day, but I'm letting you know. I'll let you know what after what song. I'll tell you a couple more times uh, just to make sure you get a shot at getting that cash. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Go Pats. Celts are doing well. Bruins are looking pretty tough. I don't know if we're really screaming about how many days it is till pitchers and catchers for the Red Sox this year. But, hey, anything could happen. And uh, I just say thank you so much. Have a great 2020. But better yet, have a great weekend.